An ice shelf along the shore of Lake Michigan is forming. This is what the shoreline looks like near Saugatuck. And while open water can be seen, it is the areas that look solid that draw people into danger. It's why one fire chief on the lakeshore is sharing a simple message. 13 on your side, Lakeshore reporter John Mills has more on why that ice is so dangerous. The ice shelf along the shore of Lake Michigan is different than the ice that forms on an inland lake. The ice here is made up of multiple uneven layers, big cracks and pockets that often drop straight down into open water. I think it's kind of a hidden treasure. Muskegon County is blessed with shoreline. There's 27 miles of coastline here. A scenic sight Thursday. Lake's calm as a mill pond. And Stephen Knowlton is always impressed how quickly shore ice sets in. It's not quite as far out as it usually is this time of year. Lake Michigan went from around 11% ice cover to 17% in just a few days. That quick change means the ice here may look solid in places, but it's shifting, cracking and heaving, constantly being impacted by waves and nearshore currents. I wouldn't take the chance, it's not worth it. But some do venture out for a closer look, an adventure that can result in death. Should never be out on that. Just stay off the simple rule of thumb from North Muskegon Fire Chief Gordon Cole. That ice shelf that builds up on the edge of Lake Michigan is not safe. You could fall through into a cavity and not be able to get out. Even if you're not in the water, um, you could injure yourself. Shutter bugs are often the ones pushing the limits. Cole has a specific bit of advice for them. Take your pictures from a distance. Now might be a good time to invest in a drone. Use your drone to get your pictures. Saugatuck's Doug Gould didn't risk it. He did just as Fire Chief Cole suggests capturing this scene with a drone from a distance, both feet on solid ground, observing the beauty, avoiding the danger. The ice coverage is expected to increase, but not reach any record levels. In Muskegon County, John Mills, 13 on your side.